Most of us can't stand to see people rubbing how spoiled, rotten, rich they are. And for the passionate sports fans, it's no different seeing certain fan bases get spoiled time and time again. It gets a little tiresome after a while. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present the 10 most spoiled fan bases. And a huge shout out and thank you to Minnesota Coast One for suggesting this list. We hope you enjoyed, and if you do, feel free to leave your comments down below for more cool lists that you want us to make. You never know, we might pick one and give you a shout out. Number 10, Chicago Blackhawks. It wasn't that long ago when the United Center was empty on Blackhawks game nights, but then the Blackhawks wound up drafting franchise stars Jonathan Taze and Patrick Kane. Next thing you know, Chicago makes the playoffs every single year while taking home Stanley Cup championships in 2010, 13, and 15. How spoiled are the Blackhawks? The media and many Hawks fans cried for changes when they were swept in the first round of the 2017 NHL playoffs. I guess not winning the championship every year is so hard for Chicago and its spoiled fans. Number 9. Chelsea FC For those of you that aren't familiar with the geography of England, according to Alex the writer, Chelsea is the part where many of the rich snobs who think they are better than you live. As life would have it, the spoiled citizens of Chelsea are also spoiled with one of England's finest soccer teams. Chelsea won the EPL championship for the 2016-17 season, their fifth since 2005. This team is like the New York Yankees of English soccer in that they buy all the world-class players. And if any of you pay attention to the EPL, ever notice how Chelsea fans make it seem like the end of the world anytime they don't win? Number 8. Pittsburgh Steelers My old hometown team The Steelers became the model NFL franchise in the 1970s when Terry Bradshaw and the Steel Curtain led Pittsburgh to four Super Bowls. And in the 21st century, it's been Ben Roethlisberger who's been spoiling the Steelers fan base. Sure, they don't have five supporting bowls like the Patriots do in this century, but they still own the most Super Bowls in the NFL history with six. The Steelers haven't had a losing season since 2003, and they're in the playoffs virtually every year. They are completely spoiled in every way imaginable. <laughs> it's not so funny when it's about my people. Number 7. Boston Red Sox Up until 2004 before the Red Sox ended their 86-year World Series drought, they had the sympathy of the entire MLB world. We felt bad for seeing such diehard fans wait decade after decade for that one championship. Man, how things can change in less than a decade. Thanks to their deep-pocketed ownership that buys non-stop superstar players, the Red Sox have been one of the baseball's best teams in this era. They won it all in 2004, 7, and 13. Anytime Boston doesn't reach the World Series, fans are demanding changes. Sounds like a pretty spoiled fan base to me. Number 6. Detroit Red Wings The Red Wings made the playoffs every year from 1991 to 2016. Throughout that period, they were hockey's model NHL organization. They won six President's Trophies as the top team in the regular season, six Western Conference Championships, and four Stanley Cups. Detroit also has owned countless Hall of Famers since their Stanley Cup victory in 1997, probably more than any other team. How else can we put it? Two and a half decades of dominance with all the great players and multiple championships. Detroit fans were truly spoiled to the limit. Number 5. LeBron James Fans We're not sure how many true Cleveland Cavaliers fans there are outside of Ohio. We're not even sure how many true Miami Heat fans there were from 2011 to 2014 outside of South Beach. But we know countless Cavaliers and Heat bandwagon fans have been around since LeBron James broke into the NBA a decade and a half ago. And guess what? Fans who cheer for whichever team LeBron James is on are super lucky. He's won the Eastern Conference every year since 2011 with absolutely zero competition. His 2012, 13, and 16 NBA championship rings are further evidence on how spoiled fans of the King really are. Number 4. Alabama Crimson Tide Football Everyone who isn't an Alabama fan basically hates Alabama. Why? Because head coach Nick Saban is captain of the super spoiled college football fan base. Since Saban joined Alabama in 2007, this team has dominated the entire country. The Crimson Tide won the national championship in 2009, 11, 12, 15, and 17. They're among the top teams every single year, and it just drives the rest of the country crazy. Why else do you think America celebrates anytime Alabama loses? Their fans are so spoiled and deserve the loss every now and then. But the best part is how much their fans can't handle it anytime Alabama loses. Number 3. Barcelona FC So for a while, Barcelona owned Ronaldinho, who was by far the top soccer player on the planet. Must we mention Samuel Eto, who scored over 100 goals during his time with this team? And who does Barcelona have today? 
Why, the best soccer player in the world, some guy named Lionel Messi. Who else do they have? Well, yet another elite class player in Luis Suarez. And oh, Barcelona won the La Liga championship eight times from 2005 to 16. These Barcelona fans all across the world really are spoiled. It's silly. Number two, New York Yankees. It's not just the fact that the New York Yankees 27 World Series championships make them spoiled. It's just how spread out their championship victories have been. For example, the 1980s and 2010s are the only decades so far in which they haven't won multiple World Series. And oh, they had virtually all the greatest baseball players in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 90s, and 2000s, and for much of the 2010s. The Yankees had Babe Ruth, and they had Joe DiMaggio. Then they had Derek Jeter, and now they have 6'7 Aaron Judge. Did we mention again that they have 27 World Series titles far and away the most in the majors? Spoiled Yankees fans. And number one, New England Patriots. How wrong do you think Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, and the Patriots fans act anytime they fail to win a game? Well, when you win five Super Bowls plus the AFC East every year, you just naturally set the bar extremely high. The Patriots have the best head coach ever, arguably the best quarterback ever, and the most gifted tight end ever. We're talking about Gronk, by the way. The Patriots are so flippin' good that their fans have the right to be shocked and in despair anytime they don't win the championship. That's how great they've been for so long. But still, spoiled Patriots fans shouldn't overreact anytime their team loses. Five Super Bowls, 31 other teams would love to be you. Heck, the Cleveland Browns would love to post a winning season before even thinking about a championship. You Patriots fans have the closest thing to perfect lives. Which do you think is the most spoiled fan base in all of sports? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're not subscribed yet, now's a great time to do that for more cool videos every single day. And if you like the video, then like the video. We'd really appreciate it. Until next time, tune into Total Pro Sports for more cool videos every single day.